Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to work your biceps and your triceps. So we're going to be doing this strictly with a barbell and some plates. So if you're one of those guys that you know are limited to just those equipment and you have that at home, then you want to you know try this workout right here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to work it out without using a bench, you know, without using a rack, nothing. Just a barbell and some plates. Let's get right to it, y'all. <laughs> Okay, for the first workout, we've got one of my favorite workouts using the barbell. Bicep curls, four sets, 12 repetitions. This one's really good for putting on size into your biceps. You wanna build overall, you know, size in your biceps and strength, and you wanna, you know, add this to your routine at some point. <laughs> Okay, here's a tip for you guys. You want to use lightweight plates, something between 0 and 25 pounds. You can increase the weight if you think it's too easy or if you find it, you know, too easy to curl. You can also make sure that, you know, your elbows are tucked to your sides. You want to make sure they're not flailing or flaring around the entire place. So this targets mainly your entire biceps, like I said earlier, so it helps you build size and strength in your entire biceps region. Okay, number two here, we've got some close grip press. Four sets, 12 reps. So this is our first tricep workout here and this is really good for stacking on sides as well into your entire triceps region. Okay, here's a tip for you guys. You wanna keep a very close grip to you know target the triceps more than the chest because this sometimes hits the chest as well. Okay, this mainly targets your entire triceps, so it helps you build size in your entire triceps region, both the short and the long head. Okay, here's another tip for you guys. You want to bring the barbell down as low as you can before bringing it back up. So just, you know, as low as you know your, your arms are going to let you get. So just not let, you know, resting your arm on the floor. Okay, for the next workout here, we've got some wide bicep curls, four sets, 12 repetitions. So now we're going to begin to target specific parts of the biceps. Here's a good tip for you guys. You wanna make sure that you bring the weights all the way to the top on every single repetition as well as keeping your wrists, you know, at a wide grip distance, so wide. So get it, make sure it's, you know, past your shoulder width. Here's another tip for you guys. You want to use lightweight plates as well. You can increase the weight if it feels like it's too easy. Keep your elbows from flaring. That's very important for every single bicep workout. So you want to try to maintain the same position that you start the workout in. Okay, this mainly targets the inner bicep, so the shorter head of your bicep. So it's great for building that inner part of your bicep. Because if you want, you know, a complete bicep, you have to target the entire part of it. Okay, here we go, some Skull Crusher, 4 sets, 12 reps. This one you want to go lightweight on because it can be really tricky if you go heavy on it. Okay, here's a tip for you guys. You want to use lightweight plates, you know, between 0 and 15 pounds like I said earlier, and you want to keep your elbows from flaring all over the place. So keep them tucked and keep them in the same position. Try to keep them in that position every single time. Okay, the target muscle of this workout is your entire tricep, so it helps you put size in your entire triceps as well. Okay, here's another tip for you guys. You want to bring the barbell down as low as you can before bringing it or returning it back up. So you want to make sure you bring it past a 90 degree angle, just slightly at least. You know, but if you can go further down, go ahead. Just make sure you don't hurt yourself, that's all. go some more bicep curling reverse this time so four sets 12 reps okay so here's a tip keep your elbows in the same position and tucked to your sides the entire time just like every other single bicep workout 
in this video and any other video you're going to see me make. So the main focus of this workout is your biceps and your forearms. So this one is different than the other ones because it mostly focuses on your forearms as well. Okay, next up and the final one, we've got some close grip push-ups. So make sure that you have the grip really close as you can see in the video. This one's a great workout for targeting your entire triceps. More for, you know, definition and aesthetics, but it's great for, you know, putting on size as well in your triceps. So here's a tip. You want to make sure your wrists are as close as possible to activate the triceps, you know, as long as possible. Here's another tip, you gotta make sure that you maintain a straight back the entire time. So a straight back is mandatory. There's no argument, there's no bargain in here. It has to be straight. There's a bicep and tricep workout you can do using just a barbell and some plates. So it doesn't matter where you do it, at the gym, at home, doesn't matter. As long as you have access to, to a barbell and some plates, you should be good to go. So this workout is a little bit of a high volume workout. Make sure you're ready to get your heart rate going. So this is good for burning fat and for building muscle. So you can always increase the weight to keep them low, depending on you know what your goal is, to lose fat or to build muscle. If you enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and if you're looking for more videos like this, more helpful workouts like this that require no bench, no rack, and just the use of a barbell, then make sure to check out the video on the screen right now, and I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas, and I'm out of here, man. <laughs>